we're stepping on the, the terrace of the Pyramid of the Moon and uh, I'm looking at those patterns which are all over the place and you can see the straight lines over here and also the inclination so but why why does it go like this? I was expecting it to go like Which way is it going? Well, it's going downwards. And D you... Down from you, you mean? Yeah, down, down from me. Yeah, into the face of the structure. Into the face of the structure, yes. And also down toward me. Yes. So it's, it's, it's inclined to the left and also inclined toward, toward the camera. This clay hill here was, was all, came all the way down to the edge of this, so they took clay out from this whole area, so this was never meant to be seen. This is all structural. Okay. So as, as far as the ancients were concerned, nobody was going to walk on this. And you think the patterns were also made uh, artificially? Well, what do you think? Definitely. They, it looks like some tools were used for this event because they're all so, so similar, you know? And, or it's just one layer of this stuff? Well, let's look at the... As it goes down, you see how it steps up. See how it steps up a little bit and then it steps up a little bit and it steps up? Over here? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it, they're supporting it from below by stepping it up a little. So we, here's the step up right here. And it keeps doing that. Ah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So it steps, steps up to the three, two, two and a half, three inches maybe. Okay. And it keeps stepping up, stepping up. We see the same thing right here, and and we see this on Vratnitsa as well. Same thing. As it goes down, it steps mm. up. So it's it's like this incredible engineered structural layer. So not only is it textured for reasons we have no idea, because it's so beautiful to us, but I have a feeling that it was engineered texturing for some kind of energy flow, maybe. Uh, as the energy is moving through the pyramid, maybe it's it's easier to move the energy if it's if the t tops of these are not flat. So they just said whatever it is, it doesn't have to be any specific te uh, texture, any specific pattern, it can just be f not flat. Okay, so they just, that's why all these are non-similar. It's not like they had a mold and they're all the same like we would do. It's, they're all different. So my camera's flat right there, so you can see that it's inclined into the face of this structure, leaning to the right. And only because Dr. Semiros Monogich brought teams of people out here can we see this, because they spent a lot of energy taking out that clay. Now I understand, okay. Yeah. So there were more terrorists. Yep. Like, Stacked up on it. So, like at Osceola Hill, we saw the terrace, the the, the claystone mm -hmm. hard ones, Kateka, we saw the claystone hard ones, and then the softer layers. Same thing here. We have, but it's a huge soft layer. This is like what, f four meters or something, mm -hmm. of clay, soft clay, and then the the hard baked oh, claystone. Soft clay, and there you go. There, there goes another uh, terrace. Taco, another. taco. There'll be another terrace up there. We just have to find it. Okay. <laughs> Pyramid of the Moon. Yeah, so now it makes sense to me what you're trying to say, but why do you think the model on the, py on the pyramid of the moon is different than the others? Because the others are, are leaned towards 
the left and this one is leaning is leaning towards the right. What do you think? Which other one? I've seen the Osijeka Osiela, hill, Osiela. hill, right? And uh, I believe uh, the the stones were leaning to the left. The stones were leaning to the left. There. Right, they're leaning to the left and inclined into the structure. These are this one. This terrace is leaning to the right and inclined into the structure. But the terrace below was leaning was the, the first terrace we saw was leaning to the left and inclined into the structure. So they're switching their inclination. Why? Who knows? All we have is questions, but all this was under clay as well. This terrace was not seen, it was only excavated by volunteers and employees of Archaeological Park Foundation. Yeah, but it's it's also really different from the Osieka Hill because... Osiela Osiela Os Hill. Yeah. Because the layers are seem much softer here. They, yeah. They look all, all, uh, almost like... Uh, like mud, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And over yeah. there, they were really, really hard, like some concrete stacked up on thin layers of concrete just stacked up on top of each other. On Osceola Hill. Yeah. Yeah, and here it's just soft mud, soft clay. So maybe that was some kind of uh, fortification, maybe served a different purpose, military or who knows. And this one was somehow related more to spirituality and stuff like that. Well, Osceola Hill is a lot steeper, so maybe they needed those really thick claystone layers, more of those maybe, and, and, and shorter amounts of clay. So more th hard layers to keep it because it's so steep next to the river, you know? Whereas this is more gradual, more gradual. Okay now. They also stepped this up. So this is stepped up from this just by a couple inches for some reason. And this is stepped up from that by an inch or so. And there's another step up of a, of a foot and a half right there. So this, as the, as the terrace goes downhill, suddenly they have a really steep step up to structurally support it. Amazing. We can see how the the soft layers start, right? So you think it's only this portion with the Well we have the, the solid really terms. soft layer which is right there. This little tiny oh, layer. In between. In between the two hard ones. Okay. Right? So let's put our finger put your finger on that soft layer. See if you can feel how soft it is. Yeah, it can it can break easily. Yeah, and then what about the one below it? Is that is it right yes. there? Is that hard? Hard, damn solid. Yeah. So we got a hard piece and then soft layer for earthquake mitigation, probably. Yeah. Then the hard one here above it was soft clay, but also the soft clay was also layered. So some of the some of the some of it was also hard clay stone, then soft clay, then another clay stone piece, soft clay, another clay stone piece. And they, it was like, and then this was whatever it is, soft-ish, some of the little tiny pieces of hard, right? And then yeah, a little soft up next to it. Crazy, right? Yeah. They definitely had the, a complex system in place when they built this. Yes. And then you can see the dark soil above, maybe, what, half a meter? depending uh -huh. and then all this construction material just below the dark clay the roots have a really hard time getting through the clay it's so dense okay so uh, do you think this was uh, this was done by some uh, otherworldly species because this actually could be tied to an earthly species I mean I I can see humans building this of course it's, is that like nothing I've seen before and it's dated to thousands and thousands of years, but uh, what do you believe? Well, Dr. Semyon Osmanagic, discoverer of the Bosnian Pyramid, says that there's a hundred thousand plus pyramids on the planet Earth. Therefore, there was never enough humans to build all those pyramids. Now maybe some humans built these, but clearly humans didn't build all of the pyramids on the planet. Somebody was here helping 
or we were helping them. Maybe we received technology from, from these ancients yeah. and we did it our own way. Then we say, look at how big the Temple of Mother Earth is compared to those houses. And that's just one structure here. How many people would it take to build just the Temple of Mother Earth? Then you've got that structure, the Pyramid of Love. Then you've got the Pyramid of the Sun, the tallest documented pyramid on the planet. Then you've got this pyramid, second tallest documented pyramid on the planet that you're standing on. Then you've got Osceola Hill. Then you've got, you know what I'm saying? It just keeps going on. How many yeah. people would it take? And why would they do it? What's their think, reason? Why do we think of so many people? When we can think of another species, maybe a species of uh, giants who could do this with ease. Sure. And then it would only take a few people to realize this. How do you say giants in Romanian? Uh, we say it uh, Uriash. Ooh, Uriash. And we have a lot mm. of giant skeletons around there. Sounds good. Mm. I like Uriash. Covered up. I want to I do a blog called Uriash. Uriash, yeah. It sounds That's nice. Good.